Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy, G Shrimp. Everybody, favorite baby daddy, voice of the street, man. And today we in the YouTube streets, y'all. Now, before I get started, I'm going to just give a shout out to the names I keep seeing. I see this, I guess her name Shari. She from St. Louis. I see you, Kentucky girl. My other girl, she always commented, was this Kayama Sydney. My man Uptown from Washington, D.C. I guess he said UPT, Washington. My people over in London, Australia. Sh Shashanda, I guess. Shashanda, I guess that's what she's trying to say. Shashanda from Little Rock. And Tiffany, I see you. Tiffany wanted me to write a book. I wrote the book. I'm working on the audio, sis. So I'm going to send it to you. You have to go to my phone number or my email and send me your information. Because you can't put it on here because we got a lot of fools over here, right? So, uh, I really was just looking through a lot of shit, y'all. This was really going on. Y'all know they let Brittany grind out. So naturally, they had to give up an arms dealer or somebody to let her go. Now, a lot of people mad, all oh, these people in jail, and this and that. That just goes to show you, you ain't going to never make everybody happy, y'all. And I had to learn that myself, although I can see it, but I, you still have feelings, y'all. People act like we don't have feelings. You can sit on a computer and type all kind of negative shit and think we don't supposed to react. And then y'all wonder why the shooting and shit don't never stop. Because people got feelings. A lot of times it'd be people working with feelings and that's what happened, right? So, uh, I was just thinking about this chick I used to mess with. I ain't gonna use her name. It's a big girl, right? It's a big girl. My girl, Big Sexy. We go all the way back to grammar school together. Cool as a fan. Some women be like, even if you weren't attracted to them, they be so cool you can't deny them because they 100. You feel me? So me and her, we've been like this all through grammar school. So she used to be flirting with me. I guess I wasn't into big girls yet at that time, right? So me and plus we always been tight. And but let me tell you something. You ain't never had a little fat girl. Boy, don't let her get you in that room, boy. she have your ass tapping out, boy. And trust me, she gonna make you pay for it. I'm telling you, pay for it. You think, ain't no 15 minutes with no big girl. No, 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 none of that shit. You go out there, she gonna flip your ass like a pancake. Front, back, side to side. <laughs> you like a car with switches, man. You know, the woman damn near killed me, y'all. She killed me. Flam there fucked me to death literally listen now I y'all hear me say this right I don't drink but on my birthday holidays friends special occasions or something like that or if she pops up that's how she do me y'all got no cup in my head it's like so uh I need this glass let's see if I got this cup right here she fill it up. I'm talking shit I don't drink. And I'm looking over here talk, talking to somebody else. Here she go. She, she do it like the guys do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get this nigga drunk. I'm a cup right here, right? I'm turning over here. And it's empty. It should be empty. I turn. I'm like, what the, what the? Hey, man, I just drank this cup. Cool. Because I'm trying to socialize with her. She got a friend with her. I'm just trying to, you know, kick it with her. Finish that. Drink it again. Talking to somebody else. Go somewhere. Come back. Hey, man. What the fuck is happening? I thought I was drinking this water. This this liquor. She's steady filling it up. Steady filling it up. Mm -hmm. Go on. Get nice and drunk. And when I get drunk, we end up talking. So you going to go home with me tonight? guess go home with her and I used to wake up the next day and tease her all the time I'm like man every time I fuck with you man I end up somewhere drunk and naked man she like you ain't complaining this you I ain't complaining but that wasn't my plans you know what I mean I, that was not my plans that ain't nothing wrong with it but I'm just saying give me some say so in the matter you Taking me in the house, I'm staggering and shit. You're gonna kill me. 
And when I say she almost killed me, y'all, I swear to God, I put that on that thing, right? She was at her house, and we doing our little thing. Next morning, I wakes up. My stomach is hurting. And I'm wondering, damn, man, what the fuck? So I'm like, uh, babe. She's like, what? I'm like, man, we didn't eat yesterday. We came straight here, drank, did our thing, and laid down. That's why I'm hungry. I said, I'll give you some more dick. You, uh, you, uh, cook me something to eat. She like, I'll cook you something to eat. You give me some more dick first. I'm like, come on. All right, well, you got to get on top because I'm going to lay back in. You know, fuck it because I'm ready to eat. Boy, listen, she got up there, y'all. Ain't no 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm talking about she broke that motherfucker for at least 30, almost 40 minutes. Soon as she get right, she jumped up. Go down there. I can hear her cooking. Now I'm sitting up here. I'm like, I'm like damn. I can only breathe a little bit, y'all. The room was a little stuffy, and you know, winter is heat. And I'm like, damn. I couldn't catch no air, y'all. I'm like, damn, man, I'm like, you know, doing this shit, so I crawled to her window, it's old, older house, got burglar bars on it, I tried to lift the window up, and it must have had some nails or something up, because it only come up a little bit, <laughs> and I could not breathe, y'all, I tried to stick my head under there, I'm talking about, I am literally dying, I'm like, and I'm saying to myself, I can't believe this chick. She in the fuck me to death. Oh my God, I'm finna die. I'm at the window dying, y'all. Literally dying. <laughs> she comes up the steps. She like, hey, you all right? She stepped the shit down. You all right? I can't breathe. She do something to the window. And I, I have my hand out the window. I'm like, She was dying laughing. I'm like, that shit not funny. You almost fucked me to death. You go keep a fan of something in this room, bitch. I ain't coming back. I ain't coming back. Please. Ask me how many motherfucking times I've been in her house since then. See, when you start off learning, this is how you get your niggas, right? If he ain't never had none, he might play tough for a little while, right? Now, nah, girl, you ain't, you ain't my type. I don't fuck with him. I don't fuck with him. When you first get him and put it on his ass, right? You ain't got to, if you know you to put it on him right, you ain't got to worry about that because he going to want to come back. Now, I used to, she used to want me to come to the house all the time. After I started getting down with him, realized, oh, it's pretty good. She going to do all, everything we need to do. I call her, I, I'm, I'm going to pull up on you tonight. Not tonight, what? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not like you said no, bitch. What? I did say no. <laughs> what you just say? I I got something to do to I know you lying. I, oh, oh, you got something to do tonight. Oh, okay. All right, click. I'm mad in the motherfucker. She called me the next morning laughing like a motherfucker, like shrimp. I went at home, man. No, you had something to do. She said, I was teasing you because I wanted to see what you go clown or what she was going to say because I was telling, she was telling her daughter. She said, yeah, uh, shrimp used to act like he didn't want to come over here. Now that motherfucker in and out all the time. They joking on me. I'm like, bitch, you don't want to be calling me though, right? So let me tell you another story, right? Me and her had, right? She worked it a morning shift. I was staying with another chick on Damon, right? She takes me home like 4 o'clock in the morning. It's a fucking blackout on the block, right? So normally I would get out at the corner and walk down or I have my car in the back so I would leave with her. So anyway, I would have her drop me at the corner and I walk down to my girl house. It's a Blackout, y'all. You can't see shit. So I'm like, man, fuck that shit. You know, I'm like telling her, fuck that. Take me to the door, man. I'm not from this area. I'm not finna be walking through here. So I pull up. Why my girl, her sister, they all sitting on the porch. Because it's a blackout. Ain't shit to do. So I pull up. 
with the chick. My girl see me. <laughs> this is she say, y'all. Yeah, I know it. That's how the players do it. Just pull up at the door with the bitch. Just pull up at the door with the bitch. I'm like, I didn't know you was on the porch. You know what I mean? It ain't like I was trying to do that, but it's, I just had to do it like that. But that's what she's saying. And uh, a girl in the car said, she crazy. And she, I'm like, oh, she ain't crazy. And she ain't crazy. She just cool as a fan. You know, she was cool. She was another little fat girl I started messing with. But she was one of them chicks that would just keep it 100 all the time. You know what I mean? We, we never had no problems, right? Now, she would have friends that would come over and meet me all the time. And they end up liking me or something, right? She had one friend I end up taking home, right? She wanted me to take her. She wanted to take her to the bus stop. Bus stop, right? I dropped her ass at the bus stop, y'all. Why this bitch leave a whole purse in my car? A whole purse. I ain't talking about a little one. I'm talking about a whole big ass purse. And it ain't like it was sitting on the floor. She took the purse and stuffed it under my seat. Now, I'm married. I got the chick on me, which is cool. So, I'm not really trying to hang out with too many other women and shit. So, when I searched the car, I'm like, man, this bitch left her purse. I took the purse back to my girl. What she was trying to do was call my girl. Hey, I need your boy number. Uh, I left my purse in the car. That was a plan, y'all. She was trying to get back with me. So my girl like, bitch, no, nah, your purse is here. You can't be leaving shit in his car. Bitch, he got a whole woman at home. A whole wife, bitch. I don't leave shit in his car. How you go leave your purse? So my girl like shrimp, that bitch a hoe. She go try to fuck you anyway. She said, I'm going to give you permission to fuck that bitch. Just make sure you tell me when you do because I'm going to beat the brakes off that bitch. I'm like, okay. So, you know, I didn't mess with her. You know, I waited till the opportunity presented herself. She kept jugging at me, but I don't take advances like that because I'm too busy in the street. I ain't got time if I'm moving this and that. I ain't got time to be. I already got a woman. Two women. I ain't got time for you. You the outsider and I feel like you're a traitor because you're going against your girl anyway. So, I didn't like her like that. Finally, she caught me somewhere. I don't know. I think we sent each other at a friend house or something. And I'm like, man, that's that bitch right there, man. My girl told me to go on that, man. Gee, you, you know her? I'm like, yeah, she be at my girl crib. He like, man, well, she be over here doing, woo -woo. they giving me the 411. I'm like, oh, well. He like, I went in there. I'm like, went on, knocked her off, right, y'all? As soon as I finished, I couldn't wait. Doop, 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 brrr, patio. She like, yeah, I'm like, man, you won't believe I just sent this, bro. Woo -woo. She like, yeah, you fuck her. I say, yup. She said, okay. Thank you. I'm going to beat the shit out of that bitch. Boy, my girl caught that woman, y'all. I was turning the corner. She beat her ass from one end of the block to the next and back down. I felt sorry for the woman. I'm like, that's enough, baby. You go kill her. That's enough. She like, I know you was a backstabbing bitch. You dirty hoe. Yeah, you didn't know. I told him to fuck you, bitch. I told him to fuck you. Because I knew you was going to try to sneak and do it anyway. I knew it. And I'm like, I just felt so sorry for her. Because she, she fucked up. And Polly was a kind of big girl. She was. I used to tell my wife. My wife thought she was scared of her. I'm like. She ain't had permission to get out on you. If I give her permission to get out on you, she would really hurt you. So you leave her alone, right? But what I was thinking about earlier, before I finish these things, I was looking at some shit. I know some of y'all in the scene, y'all. P R E, that's Paper Route Empire. What's his name? Grove Hero. Grove Hero is, uh, he is one of uh, Young Dolph artists, right? He runs into Lil Migo at the airport, y'all. Lil Migo is one of CMG artists who is signed to Black Youngsters. Black Youngster. And I'm going to also tell you who Lil Migo is. Lil Migo is the shooters on the Dolph case, the Canelius guy. 
That's uh, Migo is the little brother of him. So that's Migo, big brother that's in there on that case. That's why Cornelius had a lawyer and Straight Drop didn't. You feel me? Now, straight drop them. They might have got paid their bag for whatever, but his money jagged off in the street. Lamigo is covering Cornelius' lawyer. You feel me? So, when Grove see him, he like, man, I would have knocked you out. And, you know, they talking a little bit. Lamigo like, man, you ain't going to do shit. And they said something. He slapped. He stole on him. Slapped his phone out. Lamigo like, wait a minute. Took his bag up like he finna. You know, get out with him and Grove walked on out, right? Jumped in the car. Only thing I didn't really like about the situation, okay, your man did, man. Uh, I mean, that type of get back, you just irritating the situation. Because now you can make yourself a target. And then, not only yourself a target, bro, your girl a target. Because he talking shit, right? But he filming her. And she laughing and dry, and then got her whole name up there at Sydney, Houston, something. I'm like, I'm like, Jasmine. Her name Jasmine, Houston, something. I'm like, and I'm like, we know who Grove is. I'm like, why you be calling up, bro? And then why you got her name up there? See, cause see, shit goes so deep, y'all, and y'all don't realize. Now, Lil Migo got a little money, y'all. He got some money. And they doing what they doing. They connected and shit. So now, any woman that like Lil Migo could be a cousin, sister, brother, or any type of family. They might try to get on this girl for Migo. Now, next thing you'll see her, they catch up the beauty supply somewhere. Yeah, this the bitch that was fucking with. Look, Migo, look what we doing to the bitch. Look what we doing. And they jump on this girl. It'll be all because you filmed her and put her in a situation that she didn't have nothing to do with. If you beat the nigga up, why not record yourself? You feel me? Why the fuck you got the camera on her? See, like I was explaining this a lot of other times, man. People, when they be petty, if they can't get you, they'll try to get other people. You know, it's it, it ain't no rules to no street shit. You know, and then you hear other people say it's all fair and love and war. Yeah, yeah. I guess it is. Ain't no motherfucking rules to this shit. So I look at it like, man, you started that shit in the airport. If you want to go kill him or do nothing, you really could have did without that, bro. You really could have, because now you, it's already, we y'all know that shit come from CMG. Let the guys keep spinning and doing what they doing. You could have kept your hands clean and been like, fuck it. You know. I don't know why he even put himself in that situation. You know. And look, let me tell you this other story, right? It's this chick I know. And let me tell you something, ladies. When y'all messing with these guys and shit, some of y'all, y'all don't got to be capping. If, if shit ain't right, it ain't right. Because I know some of y'all ain't working. Guys hustle. You have boyfriends go to jail. Baby daddies go to jail. Niggas get killed. A lot of shit happened to leave women out here vulnerable. They ain't got much, right? So, I had this chick I used to fuck with, right? Uh, wasn't like that, really. You know, I think I hit her a few times. She was cool. She was a cool chick. But she had one, two kids, I think. So... She called me. It's winter time. Quite a few years back, it's winter time. Now she know I stayed over east, right? But I told you the building I just inherited. I always had that building because my dad owned the building, and I always had an apartment in that building. And I never stayed there because I felt like if I'm at my dad's house, I felt like a failure, so I never stayed in. I've been having my own apartment since I was 16, bro. I never stayed in that motherfucker. I just moved in this apartment since my daddy passed away and my mother been sick. I just had to come back. But other than that, I always had property other places, right? So, 
she called me one day and she was telling me about uh, she was having a problem with her boyfriend or something. So I'm thinking is that all the time it was she didn't have no heat. So she like, can I just come spend the night with you? I'm like, uh, well, not not tonight. You know, that's why I told her not tonight. I'm doing something. So the next day, same thing, same thing. So I ducked her for a while because I wasn't fucking with her like that. Then she finally called me and I could hear the kids in the background, you know, crying a little bit. And I'm like, what's up? She's like, can I come tonight, man? And and I'm like, uh, no. Then I heard the little girl say, why don't you just tell them? Why don't you just tell them? We cold. So I'm listening to the little girl. I'm like, I said, what did she just say? Nothing, shrimp. Don't listen. I said, I'm finna come get you right now. So I had to pull up. You know, I goes over there. And I'm going to see for myself. I walk sitting there. Woo! They got coats and shit on. I'm like, man, what's going on, man? She like, man, the heat turned off. Ooh. I'm like, man, shit. How long you been staying like this? She's like, it's all right in the summertime. Like, bitch, it's not summertime. I'm like, come on. I bring them to my house. Now, like I said, I brought them here, though. I wasn't staying here, so I damn near they gave them a whole apartment. But I used to have to come here more because they here. Because my people won't know who upstairs is. Reese ain't up there. Who is this? I hear kids. You know, they calling me. You here? No, I ain't that. Well, who the fuck upstairs? You know, so I had to come here. Now, that mean I got to be here for a little while. So I'm talking to and discussing. I'm like, man, why wouldn't you? You should have been said something about this. Calls down there. Her rent is, her not her rent, her heat is $4,000. Now I'm like, damn. I said, that's why you can't get no help. I said, see, because most niggas, if they not fucking you, that's a lot of bread for somebody you ain't fucking with. So, you know, me being a good nigga, I didn't want to spend it either. You feel me? I'm like, mm -mm. no, because I got other obligations. I got women, baby mothers, and shit, people that need shit. Nigga, that get out. I done put that much bread up. They were like, damn, nigga. So, uh, I holler at my brother, a few other people. You know, some more, like, well, some like minded individuals. I'm like, man, you know, we. We got to help the sister out the situation. I need y'all to help me out. So, you know, they was like, man, look, if she's staying there already, just let her ass stay there, and then we'll just pay it. I end up letting her ass stay damn near the whole winter. It was a terrible winter for me because I can't leave her here by herself. When I had company, I got to go in there, then kids out here or she in another room. She might want to ask me something. She knocking on the door. She ain't my sister. Every woman know me. I ain't got no goddamn sister. They like, who the fuck is that? I'm like, oh, that's a chick I let stay in the room. <sniffs> stay in the room. Oh, so you getting that bowl, huh? You got bitches on hold, so what? when I leave, she coming in here? I'm like, no. Yeah, okay. Tell me why women start doing this when uh they leave. Come back. 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. They ain't calling no more. I come to the door. Yeah, was, oh, oh, no, I need to go in here for a minute. Come back in there. I'm like, what you, what you looking for? Nothing. I was just, nothing, nothing, sure. I said, oh, you trying to see if the chick came in here? Oh, okay. Okay. Women like to play. But I won't even say play all kind of games. Because these weren't no games. She just trying to see. If her intuition is correct. And guess what? They wasn't. You know what I mean? I was honestly, you know, trying to help the girl. I ended up fucking with her a little bit later. But, you know, the, the times I had knew her, I wasn't on that. I wasn't on that. I'm really trying to help her. Because I hate to see somebody going through some shit if I can help it. If I can help it, I will. But if I can't, I can't. Only way I won't intervene if you got another man and it's his job, I'll make him, you know what I mean, man up. But if I got to help it, then I will. 
you know. Look, let me tell you about this other time, right? I got these two chicks used to stay in the hundreds, right? Now, they was uh one of my partners. My partner, LaShawn, right? They were some chicks. He knew. He come home. He was on house arrest. That's the one I showed y'all the picture of. Stay in jail. Him. He come home, right? And uh, he on house arrest. So, I'm taking him work out there. And he doing his little thing. But he jagging off the little money and shit. So, uh, it's two women out there that he had working for him. So, uh, I'm telling him, hey, Joe, you should just give him a jab. And you can get paid off the move and you ain't got to do nothing. No, shrimp, I'm a, uh, I said, no, I told him to front it to him and he can just get a cut off the price. And he ain't got to touch it. I said, you're on house arrest. No, I'm going to give him, you know. So, he tried to do it his way. Okay, no problem. I let him do it his way. You know he started getting in the hole. So I'm like, all right, well, you got to be on hold for a minute. Because I can't keep taking all these damn L's, you know, because I got to pay for this shit. So I'm going out there, study talking to him, making sure he's good in the daytime. And, you know, the women, they kept seeing me come. So eventually they slid up on me one day. they like, hey, shrimp. I'm like, hey, what's up, honey? What's up? She like, uh, you ain't get straight yet? I'm like, huh? Did I get straight yet? What, what are you talking about? She like, Sean said you ain't got no work. I'm like, no, he ain't got no work because he, he, his little money ain't right. And I'm like, no, I'm straight. So she give me the 411 on what's going on, right? I'm like, well, you know what? I ain't got time for that. I said, man, if you can come with me now, I'll put you on and then y'all could just go from there. So I took her from the to my crib, hit her, bam. An hour later, she called me back. I'm like, damn. Hit her again. They jamming. She jamming, right? So, uh, now she tell me about her little girlfriend. Her girlfriend, right, is, uh, she tell me about her little girlfriend. Her girlfriend is, uh, getting money, too. So, they both getting money with me, right? Now, all of a sudden, the thugs is hating on me because they two women, y'all. Now, the thugs want to hang in front of their house because they see... All the traffic is coming down now. So I had to pull up on them, holler at them like, man, y'all ain't been hanging over here. I've been on this block for years. I've been coming through here. Y'all ain't never was over here. I didn't even know y'all was around here. So, you know, I'm like, look, y'all don't stand over here because this is my shit. Nah, that's how I look at it. I'm like, but I kept it played with. I'm like, man, y'all ain't got to go to war with these chicks or nothing. Click up with them and get money, man. Y'all finna make this shit worse. Because y'all not going to win this war when it start. Because y'all don't know where y'all hitters coming from. So, you know, they kind of listen. I'm like, man, y'all now hit them all, man. I hit y'all too. Go back where y'all was at. And when y'all can share these people, they like, damn, that makes sense. So, they start clicking up, right? So, one night, the girl calls me. She got somebody want to do a major deal, right? Nigga wanted the whole thing or something. I'm like, man, it's 12 o'clock. I'm not, no. We do that shit in the morning. I'm not I'm not coming out at no 12 o'clock. Not on no move like that. Hell no. So, you know, he like, all right. Me and him meet in the daytime. Talk. He, yeah, I'm going to get the bread and woo, woo, woo. And I'm, I'm like, okay. He never called me back. Something happened. They end up getting somebody else involved, right? <laughs> so the nigga, I think, yeah, he was trying to buy it, right? <clears throat> Somehow, he went with these people. And uh, they do the switch. He said when he picked the bag up, he can tell there wasn't no money in it. It wasn't how well, I'm saying this thing. It was fifteen thousand dollars missing. Let's say they was going for thirty. They gave him fifteen thousand and run off. Now the shit was forty two. So now dude them is driving on the chicks that fucked with me. This chick called me, y'all, and literally asked me, Shrimp, I said, Yeah. Can I borrow thirty thousand dollars? I'm like, What? I Hell no, what is you talking about? 
So she tell me the situation. I'm like, oh man. I'm like, well, shit. I don't know what to tell you. You know. So I went out there and hollered that dude for him. And I'm like, I asked him why you didn't wait on me. He like, man, they said they had somebody else. Woo woo woo. And I'm like, man, you should have, you should have waited, bro. But you know, cool. So one of the chicks, she stayed in communication with him. He had called, and you know, I'm telling him, man, she can work it off or whatever. We'll make it right. Just let her be for a minute, right, and we'll figure it out. It's another chick. <laughs> she going the gangster route. Fuck you, nigga. I ain't nothing I can do that. I didn't beat you out the money. I didn't beat you out the money. She's snapping, man. <laughs> man, he sent some women up there, y'all. They beat the shit out this girl. You hear me? They beat the shit out the girl. They come to my house, you know, and, uh, I pulls up, you know, I told you, we hit the block, come back. So I'm like, who the fuck is this on the side of my house? So when we come back, we get out, walk up on the car. It's my girl Sonya and then the other chick. So I get out of her, cause what's up? You ain't never been to my house, but once, what's up? Nothing, man, I had to come talk to you. I'm like, all right, well, who was that in the back? <laughs> You'll see, Trump. <laughs> man, we bring her in the house, man. This girl eyes so fucked up. She fucked up, y'all. I look, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, what's your name? <laughs> I said, what's your name? Is she? She's me! <laughs> I looked at the girl and said, Sonja, this ain't never. She like Trump, that's her. I said, what happened? She tell me what happened. I'm like, see your big ass mouth. Your big ass mouth. I said, I've been telling you, dude that been giving y'all a pass. Bitch, do you know he got somebody to answer to him? Y'all made that man lose. 15,000. He thought he was beat for the whole thing. He he beat for 15,000. And he like, he felt so bad. He felt so bad. Well, I felt bad, but dude felt bad, but he whooped that chick, man. He had some girls come up there and whoop her, right? And then I just, I told him, man, don't fuck with my girl. You know, that's her friend, hey. You know, and he's like, no, your girl cool. He wrote her dead off. Like, man, because she answered the phone every time I called. She talked to me. He said she didn't even did a few things for me. But this other chick, she cocky and gangster. A lot of times when you get in a situation, ladies and gentlemen, just little conversation. This is what make a motherfucker mad when you're old on money. If I call you and you ain't answering the phone, you ain't answering the phone, you ain't answering the phone. I'm not finna call you from no other number. I'm not finna do none of that. I'm gonna call you until you answer the phone when you want to talk to me. But all that ducking and dodging, all that's go lead to when a nigga wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay, then it's gonna be that day. You know, because it'd be some days we wake up and be like, you know what? These niggas been holding me for about a week now. He ain't answering the phone. All right, I ain't even hustling today. Spot closed. Grab them bats, this strap, woo, this is what we're doing today. You know. And people ask me all the time about Chicago. Do y'all get tired of this? Do y'all get tired of that? Hell yeah. We tired of this shit. Yeah. Why you think people get out the way ain't doing it? Why you think people lay back doing other things? When nigga go out with his girl, shit like that, yeah, he tired. You know, when you see niggas downtown, there's all kind of things you could do. Don't think that every day is up like that. Man, it's not every, every, every day. It probably is in one part of the city every day. And it's always up. But it depends on who you are. You know what I mean? It depends on you who you are. You know, because like I be staying out of trouble here. I'm moving around. But I'm always gone. I'm always gone. Like that's why it's 2, 3 in the morning sometimes. Y'all see me making videos later and later and later and later because I've been moving around. It's a lot of business I had to get straight on my own. Like I said, I had some other people go help, but motherfucker put feelings in it and you know, shit went left. So I got other people handling it now. So I got to go out of town too, y'all. I got to go out of town uh, for Christmas. So I'm going to be gone probably. 
Well, I don't like using my phone. I can use the phone. I guess I will. I ain't gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna uh, just use the phone. And I'll take maybe this computer. Maybe that one. Just like so, I, I be hating moving sometimes with all that shit. I feel like a goddamn photographer. You know what I mean? Got the camera right, that big ass camera, that computer, this computer. But I be needing all that shit because all these apps and shit on these computers and shit, y'all. The apps that work on the phone won't work on the laptop. The shit work on this laptop won't don't won't work on the uh the camera. The shit to work on this camera won't work on this laptop. I be like, come on, man. All this shit is about money, y'all. All this shit is about money. And if you just ain't loaded already or started out with no big money or had a credit card with money on it, you know, then you you can run short. I had to buy all this shit on my own, y'all. That's why I be saying, hit that like button, hit that cash app too, man. I be saying that shit for a reason. You know, everybody be liking the video and shit. I be saying that shit for a reason. Because I be running to the small shit. And if I ain't got my cash out card or nothing with me, then sometimes I have to wait on certain things. You know, like some of y'all be wanting to see the picture. You know, like I said. But by the time I get back, Christmas, New Year's, I got a lot. I got a big treat for y'all, man. But I ain't going to keep talking because uh, I got another story that I had to really do. That uh, I've been pulling up all the paperwork for. My boy Dice Dog. I'm going to do the Dice Dog story if I'm done with it tomorrow. And uh, I'll run it for y'all. You hear me? It's your boy G Shrimp. Everybody, fan, baby, daddy, voice of the street. I'm out.